who can forget Hayley and Ian? She was a girl who had dreamt of being a beautiful pink butterfly on her wedding day. Not living if you haven't got glitter on. He was the brave groom who thought, I know what she really wants. She's getting in the swimming pool in her wedding dress. Oh, really? Yeah. She don't know that yet? No, she don't know that. Oh, she oh. Don't know that. <laughs> it was definitely the wettest and the weirdest wedding idea. In the legislature, there was a place we met. It's a place we taught me to swim. It's where we had our first kiss. So I still think it is a great idea. Um, I Honestly, I would not go back and change anything. But how does Hayley remember her special day? I could have killed him a couple of times. You just don't think on your wedding day that somebody's going to put you in a pool, no matter how much you like water. On the morning of the wedding, Hayley prepared for the day every girl dreams of. You know, me and the girls were getting ready. Yeah, I must have spent about four hours that morning, which is a long time for me. I'd worked really hard, and so did all the other girls, trying to make me look beautiful. I felt really, you know, really pretty, really like a princess, and it was just, ah, I feel all nice, and, like, I can't wait for him to see me. With her makeover complete, Hayley emerged from her chrysalis, the butterfly she'd always dreamt she'd be. When the wedding car arrived, she couldn't have been any happier. Oh, I got a pink one! You got a pink one! But the excitement soon turned to confusion. Oh, this is weird. Yeah, this is really weird. I'm getting really scared now. I don't know if I want to get out. But she did, and Ian's pull plan was soon revealed. I just thought, what am I doing? This is mental. What the hell? I'm going to kill him. And then even when we're on the side of the pool, I'm like thinking, He's just, this, is, this is a joke. He's just kidding. He's kidding, right? <laughs> it just made so much sense at the time when I was planning it, that she loves the water, she loves being in the water, she's calm in the water, she's a mermaid. So why not make her into one on a wedding day? So you know how we met in the gym at this leisure centre? And you taught me how to swim here too. God, I can't finish it yet. And how much you believe you're a mermaid. I thought, what a better place on your nervous day than a place where you're most calm. <laughs> so we're getting married underwater. Oh my God. You sod. <laughs> <laughs> you sod. I'm going to get under that water, I'm going to swim up, I'm going to whack you over the head with my oxygen tank. And it wasn't only Hayley who had taken news of the wedding plans badly. The bridesmaids I heard shouting and screaming. No freaking way! And I was like, great, that's a good start. Shoes. Seriously, we just got all our hair and makeup done. Oh my god. Yeah. How can someone be so romantically stupid? You haven't got to do anything that you don't want to do, and no. I'm not letting you do it. No, you don't have to do it. Oh, Andrew, stop it, please. He doesn't want to go anymore. I don't want to talk anymore. There was a moment where I literally thought, I don't know if I can do this, like, this way. I just want to get married, and, like, nicely. This is really, really testing my love for him now. I'm trying my hardest to stay positive, and I can't. I just want to sit down. I wouldn't say I'm proud that I made my bride cry on a wedding day. It's a bit gutting that I made her have those thoughts. You know, when I was sat in the changing room, I was just taking a deep breath and I had all these things going through my mind and I just thought, what are you doing? I always said it didn't matter, it didn't matter what happened, as long as I was marrying Ian. And I meant that. So, I have to do it now. I'm happy as I'm going to get married to him, that's what I said at the end of the day. He's a romantic idiot. But he is a romantic and he's tried to think about it. I've had quite a few people say to me, God, I wouldn't have married you. I, I would have walked away. And my answer is, that's why I didn't marry you. If I had walked out, I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. And I would have felt like I was really letting him down and I'd have broken his heart. But there was a wobbly bit. There was definitely a few wobbly bits. So after three long weeks, Hayley finally got to go down the aisle. Well, sort of. When I was swimming down, I felt the nerves that, that you, every bride does feel, you know, just kind of like, 
Oh, like, this is really exciting. I, like, you know, I can't wait to see him. And I just remember you just being really, really far away. And no matter how hard I kicked, it was like someone was moving you back because I wasn't getting any closer. And I was like, come on, was the it, dress was, was so sister, heavy. Was it your sister holding on to you? Look, don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. <laughs> holding don't me on by the fingers. <laughs> You try to drown it with your kiss. Well, I'm going in for my wedding kiss. I'm not just going to go. Mm. I was like, that big breath in. I was prepared for a smooch. And you were, and you're like, quick, quick, I'm going to die. I was panicking. <laughs> I think you're very lucky that I got in the water. What do you mean, lucky? You're always going to do it. I think I, I, think I always would have because I didn't want to let you down. But, but you're lucky you I didn't kill you afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> no, your sister tried. I don't think you realise what a big deal that hair and makeup is on the wedding day. I thought I knew it was a big deal. Yeah, I know, but... but I just was... know you as a person. You're better than just letting hair and makeup cloud your decisions. Well, I nearly didn't let them. No, but, <laughs> nearly... you, didn't, but you didn't, so... Yeah. Blur. It's close. <laughs> And as a new, fresher-faced Hayley set off in a taxi, little did she know that she wasn't actually officially married. I honestly didn't even think about that, and I was all kind of just on cloud nine, just being all excited. But with a second ceremony, a whole new makeover, and a second dress sorted, she finally got the wedding she dreamt of. <laughs> and nothing was going to dampen her spirits. Oh, I'm proud of both of us, and I'm pleased that we did it the way we did it. What's the point of making your special day into something that somebody else wants it to be like? Mm. It's not your special day, then. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, it certainly was unique, wasn't it? Somehow, Ian managed to convince Hayley that her wedding wasn't a complete washout. But has she really forgiven him? Of course she has. And she's got him the perfect present to prove it for putting me underwater for our wedding day. I've got a special Christmas present for you. It's really light. So might you be. I'm actually gonna make you fly 30 meters in the air wearing these butterfly wings. What do you mean make me fly? Well, if you're gonna find out. But Merry Christmas. Even though I'm a bit of heights. I think you'll be all right. I think you'll survive just like I did. You don't hate me that much, do you? <laughs> you feeling nervous? <laughs> yeah. That you know you've got to do it, but you don't want to. Bit like my wedding day. So Ian, who hates heights, is taking to the sky in a way that only a vengeful bride would see fit. I'm not getting out. Come on. No. Come on. <laughs> He's literally on a wing and a prayer. I oh, wouldn't miss this for the world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get him <it> back. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, my beautiful butterfly. Go on, Ian. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, nice one. <laughs> Buddy, how was that? Yay! Evil. <laughs> well done! You did enjoy it a little bit. I hated it. I've seriously hated that. That's my revenge. <laughs> well done. Merry Christmas. Bet you wish you'd gone for the church now, eh? 